Hi, my name is Jordan Smith. I'm in my fourth year of the five-year undergraduate program at UTSOA. I grew up in Dallas, Texas. Um, my, both my parents are immigrants. My dad is an immigrant from South Africa and my mom immigrated from El Salvador. Additionally, I have a younger sister, Isabella. I became interested in architecture because fortunately my high school had um, career specific programs that you could take to expose you to different careers and um, I took architecture classes and absolutely fell in love with the problem solving and design aspects of that. My mom really inspired me through her actions to always be persistent in your goals and to work hard. My mom had me when she was 21 and still in her undergraduate. She still graduated with her bachelor's, though it did take her a little longer than normal. It really taught me to never give up on your dreams and your goals. Uh, additionally, my mom has always pushed me academically and professionally. She even pushed me to go to UT, so I, I really don't think I would be sitting here had it not been for her. And she's just always been there and been my rock since day one. I want to really challenge boundaries and break glass ceilings in this profession because I feel like I don't really see a lot of people that look like me or have my same shared experiences and I feel like in the world of design it's so important to have different perspectives and to have different ways of thinking about our architectural choices in that way it's very important to have a diverse committee of designers in society. Some advice that, that I would want to give to other minority women entering the position would be to never lose sight of where you came from. I feel like that's very important to remember, oftentimes because you don't see yourself in a lot of people that, that you are studying with, working with, etc. And also to be comfortable with paving your own paths to certain things because your journey will not look like a lot of your peers' journeys. And I feel like it's really important to be comfortable in your own skin. I would like to thank the AIA Women in Architecture Committee. I think it's so cool that y'all are offering the scholarship. It's so empowering to people like me. And I want to thank the AFA for being able to fund the scholarship. I also want to thank my family and I want to thank my professors here at UTSOA, specifically my women professors that have listened to me and have given me the strength to voice my opinions and my conversations about architectural design.